everyone. Welcome back to RTS and welcome back to our 15 minute mixer. Yes. Now, what does that mean? That means we're going to do something for the next 15 minutes, whether it's right, wrong, or indifferent, right? We're just going to do something, nothing, anything for the next 15 minutes. So set a timer or stopwatch or your egg timer, whatever you want to do, and uh, just get busy with doing something, whatever it is. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to get my stopwatch here. <laughs> Yes, because you know I get talking. I am absolutely going to start, and I will have that online stopwatch if you want to put that on your iPad. And I am going to do a little bit of a cleanup here because I have some stickers that I need to uh, get a little bit more organized. I've been pulling them out for pages and projects and classes and content and just having fun. Yes. So, and I just keep them in this tin. And when I'm doing something like this, I will absolutely take everything out of the tin, which, oh my Lord, those just went sliding. <laughs> And I absolutely clean my containers. So I have a couple baby wipes. And we're going to see what we get done in 15 minutes. Yes. So I thought for this 15-minute mixer, we could have a little bit of chat about some scrapbooking supplies that we played with in 2018. Okay. So, yes, that's what I do. Because I do a little bit of... Uh, cleaning cleaning whenever I do some organizing you know two for one and of course who doesn't like the smell of baby wipes oh yes I almost can break you bring you back to tears doesn't it yes oh baby wipes love it okay so I'll let that dry for a minute and then I will get cracking so I thought what we would do is that oh just look at these love of course I have a mess I have to get cleaning uh I thought we could talk about what are some of our favorites this year. Why not? Every once in a while in YouTube land, videos will go uh, surfacing. What was the favorites of 20, you know, 2017, 2016? And I love these type of videos because I am nosy and I like to see what other people do <laughs> and other people use, what other people buy. And I like to know what other people don't like because that helps me save money. You know, that type of thing. Of course, I feel like I have to be in a rush. No, because if this takes me longer, what does it matter? But I know if I don't put myself on a time limit for something like this, I'll sit here for two hours and just play because I'll tell myself, well, you're organizing, so <laughs> no, I have so many other things to do. And I'm just simply going to organize these by size. And that's how I'll do it, okay? And sometimes I'll do it by manufacturer and then I just put them on these rings. Can you see? I might as well grab a couple of them. They're easier to uh, to get to when I'm, uh, you know, pulling supplies for a page. Okay, so favorites this year. What has been your favorite manufacturer or company this year? Now, I know it's hard to pick just one, so you can list a couple. No one's going to come after you. No. <laughs> what has been your favorite? I can say for me that my favorite... Uh, this year, I would say Cartabella. I have fell back in love. Of course, I don't think I ever fell out of love with Cartabella because simply because of the weight and texture of the paper, bar none, absolutely. And then also, too, because of the designs of Stephen Duncan. Have you seen some of those in my uh, start, to, uh, start to finish videos? I am absolutely, yes, absolutely enjoying that. Yes, and here are some not even open. Don't you just love that? Yes. I mean, wood grain labels. Is there anything better than that? Well, wood grain doilies, yes, but <laughs> beggars can't be choosers. Okay, so I will put these here. And I'm just simply going by size. And then, of course, I have these Cosmo Cricut, remember? Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Yes. Okay. See, I have all these loose ones. And what made me do this is because I am going to be working on a Disney page soon and I wanted this. And so I just thought, well, just pull them all out and we will get to playing. Yes. Okay. So uh, next, after that, what would be your favorite collection you played with this year? What was that? Okay. And I hope you're playing along. Kim, are you doing something? Or are you watching me? <laughs> She told me to keep reminding her, do something, do something. Just don't sit there and watch the videos. So, Kim, there you go, friend. Okay. Um, and by the way, if you don't know who Kim Ferguson is and you enjoy paper, 
piecings. Uh, yes, you, and I have her uh, channel linked below. You absolutely no, need to go and visit this talented person because she is, I would say she is probably one of the top uh, paper piecing uh, people I have ever encountered. She, uh, she rocks my socks with her designs, that's for sure. Okay, so favorite collection. What was your favorite collection this year? Okay, now you would think I would say something that was from Cartabella, but I have a surprise. My favorite collection this year has been my knockoff kit. My knockoff version of the pink paisley Auburn Lane. And I guess because I have just been playing with it and playing with it and just enjoying it. And it didn't cost me a single penny. I simply just took uh, supplies I already had, put them together in a different combination. I'll have that video linked below. I think I say that about every other sentence. I'll have that, that video linked below. Yes, and I do cut off some of this packaging at the top because I have a real problem with uh, cellophane and plastic. Yes, okay. So what was your favorite collection and why? Why was it? Okay. I thought, you know, you some of you will probably thought I was going to say Cartabella. I love all of them. But that was the one I was having the most fun with. Okay. Okay, so what do we offer for time? Oh, man, nine minutes. Well, I better start getting some of these in my bin. Okay, the next, what was your favorite tool? What was your favorite tool? I better, I better get cracking here. I, I'm, I'm too busy talking. <laughs> okay, Tim Holtz, are you the tallest? So I'm just going to put these in order of tallest. Oh, no, Teresa Collins, I'm sure that's taller. And then I, I will just work from my way back. Yes. So what was your favorite tool? Okay, pick up the speed, Jana. Pick up the speed. <laughs> 15 minutes. Do we love it or do we hate it? What is the consensus? What What are we saying about that? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. And I can't micro-organize uh, these. These are just about getting them in the container and getting some... Uh, what's that word? Getting some... Uh, what is that word? Getting some organization, a little bit of something towards this. A little bit of organization, a little bit of order. That's what it is. Okay, that's what we're doing. Okay, I'm getting the tin. Okay, where am I putting that? Oh, I can't see it. And so I'm just going from big to small. And these are just all word stickers. Yes, if you can believe that. Word stickers, love it, love it, love it. Never tire of it. Okay, and then I have someone rings like those Jenny Bolins. These are all Tim Holtz size. Where are they going? I'll see them right here. I'm getting it. Look, I'm filling it up. I'm filling it up. Uh, yes, okay. And so, what was I saying? Favorite tool. Oh, what was your favorite tool? I would say for me, my favorite tool this year, and some of you will know, was my hexagon punches. Only because simply I used them and I used them and I didn't get tired of them. Okay, so I did for the month of December, I switched those out and I put my circle punches on my desk. And so that is something I'm looking forward to uh, for the, see how pretty that looks? I don't know, I might take out this floppy <laughs> uh, Teresa Collins ones because yeah, we don't do flop. No, we don't do flop. And let's see if we can get some of these on here. Oh, we seven minutes. Okay, so list your favorite tool. And why? Okay, so the next one. Oh, your favorite embellishment in 2018. What was that? Favorite embellishment. I had to think about this a little bit. Uh, because, you know, if I was thinking now off my on my feet, I, yeah, I wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, let me see if I'm getting some of these more in here. Uh, my favorite embellishment, I would say, for 2018, of course, you know, I'm going to say breads, but that's just my go-to. That doesn't count, right? No, that doesn't count. I would say, oh, ready? Washi and border stickers. Yes, and that's basically the same thing because I take my washi and make border stickers, thanks to Vanessa Bell, and I will have her channel linked below. So, yes, with the Vanessa trick, that has been, yes, that, that has been my uh, renewed love I could put these somewhere uh, yes my renewed love with that embellishment I mean there's so many things you can do with washi it doesn't get old does it I need to get this on here okay so then the next thing we could talk about is oh what was your favorite organizing um, product this year if you did some organizing 
probably can't see what I was doing there. I'm just playing, playing, organizing, looking at these. And of course, I want to play. I want to play. Uh, so what was your favorite organizing pro um, product? And for me, I would say, without a doubt, totally Tiffany punch bags. Totally changed my punch organization. Totally excited about it. Now these, I can't put on a jump ring. So I could put a rubber band around them. That would house them a little bit better. Some of these I could put on a ring. I notice when these are on a ring, I think they're easier and faster to access. And yes, that's what we're going to do. Those, no, no, no. But, and we're going to see what we're going to do with Teresa here and see what we can do with that. Okay, so for me, yes, totally Tiffany punch bags. And I will have that video linked below, <laughs> as I just said, with everything else. Okay, and we're down to four, almost four or five minutes. What was the one thing you wanted to do as far as techniques, supplies, anything you wanted to do this year that you didn't get to? Was it a certain embellishment? Was it a certain kit? Was it a certain album you wanted to play with? Of course, I will tell you, I didn't get as much Bible journaling as I wanted to. And I told myself not to beat myself up about it. I will just make that more of a focus going forward. And that's what we do. We can't look back. We're not going that way, right? Absolutely. Okay, we're going to stick this. I mean, just look how pretty this is and how quick it is just to pull these rings and go to town. Absolutely. Okay, so what haven't you got to this year? For me, I did not get into any machine show sewing as I had wanted to. That's not going to go in there. I didn't get to that. No. I planned that. I wanted to. Thought about it. And I will tell you simply why. It's because my sewing machine is sitting in a place where there's things always sitting in front of it. So I'm going to have to rethink that going forward. And that's how I'm going to simply do this. I can't put those on a jump ring, but I'm certainly going to put them in here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now I have these, and I can't do a jump ring, but I'm putting them in here. They're definitely much more organized, and I'm putting this in size. That way you can see. See, I can see that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And that just sits on one of my bookcase shelves. This is too floppy, so I'm going to get out my sticker binder, and I will just sit that there. I'll get out my sticker binder. Now, what would this be? White or black or cream? I say white. Why not? And I'm going to get that out. And I'm going to... How much time we have? Two and a half minutes. So this is... I got that done. Absolutely happy with that. I have these two stragglers. And I am absolutely going to put them in my white sticker binder. Yes. You know, one of my very first ones. See, I have plenty of room there. So why not? And so I absolutely could just cut that off the back and stick that whole backing in there. But no, this is fun. <laughs> I'm going to sit here, take one of these off one by one, and play. Yes. And then you become reacquainted with what you have. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. So I think we went through everything I wrote down. So some favorites this year. And did you have something that was not so favorite this year? And I was thinking about that. And I really try not to focus on things I don't care about. <laughs> Why give it energy? But something I didn't care for this year in, you know, the crafty sense of things. Huh, what would that be? I don't know if I have anything. Hmm, I would have to think about that. So did you have anything that just didn't float your boat this year in your crafting space? Scrapbooking? Of course, you know, we always have to put things away. <laughs> Yeah, you know, that never fits, uh, you know, that's always something. Uh, but I don't know if I really would have anything. There's always beauty in everything if you choose to look for it, right? Yes. Can I get an amen? Absolutely. Okay. This has been very, very fun to get. I mean, just look at this. Just when you see a finished product, product, project, no matter what it is, you just want to go do something else. So that's why I'm saying if you set that timer, even if it's just for five minutes, it gives you that motivation. 
and I have to be honest with you, sometimes I do that when I have to pay the bills because I have to do that every week. And I'm like, I drag my feet, I drag my feet. And I'm like, this is what you went to college for. This is your degree and you hate it. Yes, I do. I hate paying the bills. Okay. And so I do it in threes. I go do something for three minutes, <laughs> go do something else. Yes. Now that cut off kind of crooked. Oh, well. Sometimes you have to be careful of these Tuesday morning products that we're getting. Some of them are seconds. Some are them are simply just overstock, but some are seconds. Some have problems. Some have uh, some design issues. You have to be careful of that. And also to the pricing. You can pick a paper pad up for $1.99 and the next one's $2.99 for the same thing. So you have to be careful of the pricing. And look, I emptied that sheet of that Maggie Home sheet and I simply just put them in my sticker binder. Okay, and I'll have a video link below for that. And there we go. There's our 15 minute mixer. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so that's all I have for today for our 15 minute mixer. Please answer those questions below. What was your favorites this year so we all can see what everybody's doing? Okay, come back to RTS because. You never know what we're going to do. Bye.